Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but I am back with a new video. Uh, I've kind of been off of YouTube here, at least as far as creating some of these, uh, some new, new videos in this series, just because I've been working on some new short film projects, working with some new collaborators and kind of uh, just trying to see where, see where that will go. So I, that's been keeping me busy. Um, but I wanted to share a few thoughts here, uh, kind of inspired by those projects that I've been working on and to get back to a topic I've talked about before, which is improv filmmaking. And uh, these last couple of films I've worked on have been done in the improv style. You know, it's basically uh, people coming together, bringing the skills that they bring to the table and, you know, seeing how you work together, coming up with ideas together and then, you know, putting them into action. And uh, the thing about improv filmmaking, I, I've, I've talked about this before on here, but the thing that I'm just struck by, like, you know, each time I do this is what a great exercise it is. And no matter, I think no matter how many films you've made, you can still learn something from it. It's especially valuable if you're working with new collaborators for the first time and you kind of want to get a sense of how everybody works together. And it struck me that it's, at least in my experience, I don't ever remember really hearing about improv filmmaking as an exercise when I was in film school. Now, I think for actors, it's very common as part of their training that to do improv exercises. I think uh, most actors, it seems, uh, that, that I've ever heard from, uh, go through some kind of improv training as part of uh, acting school. But I don't, really, I don't really hear this discussed much in terms of film school. And I think that's actually very odd because in addition to the sort of, you know, all out improv projects like I'm describing, uh, being able to think on your feet and being able to uh, come up with creative solutions on the fly is certainly a very important part of making a film. I mean, there's always going to be things that come up, issues that come up, challenges that present themselves, and you have to be able to think your way around them creatively. So I'm surprised that this isn't something that, uh, again, at least in my experience, at least from what I've heard too from other people, is not more uh, common in film school. It seems to me like it would be a great exercise, especially uh, if you're just starting out and, um, you know, again, just trying out new ideas, new approaches, seeing what works. Uh, there's a certain freedom to it, too, that you don't really get with, with a scripted project where uh, I think there is a, a, a tighter sense of commitment to having to get what you need for the script. I think improv filmmaking, um, you know, just sort of lets these ideas arise organically out of the uh, out of the collaborations, out of the circumstances, out of the situation, and it can produce some uh, really interesting results. And it's a lot of fun too. That's the other thing. I, I have a lot of fun with it. So, I guess you know, it's just something I'll put out there. If you're uh, starting out making films and you're watching this, or even if you've made a lot of uh, you know films over the years, I don't know. You might want to try this approach. It might uh, might yield some interesting results. You know, it might. Uh, give you some ideas of things you hadn't thought of before. Anyway, I'm just kind of sharing these thoughts, you know, partly to partly to get these thoughts out there, and also partly as sort of by way of an explanation for where, where I've been, uh, you know, about the, the past month or so. And I will try to get back here with more videos uh, soon. Uh, these new film projects are taking up, you know, um, most of my uh, time that I can devote to filmmaking these days. So. Uh, that's what I've been up to. And, uh, you know, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.